Hello, Salesforce Ohana, Walters954 here. And in this video, I will be installing the Salesforce data loader. So if you have never installed the Salesforce data loader or you need to reinstall it, I know it changes a bit as we uh, continue to get new and improved data loaders and things change. Um, so I'm gonna be installing the data loader. The first thing you need to do is go into your setup and go to data loader. You can also Google these Salesforce data loader and they will pop right up. So I'm going to go to the developer guide and we will also download, hit the download tab for the Salesforce data loader. Now on the data load, on the, on the developer guide for this, we there's a lot of documentation. You can read it if you want. But for me, depending on your operating system, we need to hit this installer tab. So I'm using a Windows machine and what we need to do is install the Zulu JDK. And here's also the link, this link as well that we've gotten here. So for the Zulu JDK, let's go ahead and click on this link. So now taking a look at the Zulu JDKs that exist, I have no idea what Zulu is for or who Zulu is, but they make a good JDK, let me tell you. So uh, let's take a look at this. We need the open JDK and from the instructions here, we download the open JDK and we can use the zip or the .msi. So the MSI is an installer and we can hit the download now and it will bring us down to the bottom. The MSI is an installer, so we will be able to use that and we won't have to fiddle around with the zips or anything like that. So what I did here, since I'm on Windows, I switched the operating system to Windows and let's download the .msi. So we're waiting for this to complete in its installation or its download and then we will walk through the installation process. There we go. Let me bring this to the top here. And it is processing my system, making sure that I have enough space and it has popped. So we are going to next, next, next through all of this stuff. You can definitely read it, but all of the default information is good enough for us. Just popped a um, installer prompt and there we have it. We have installed the Zulu JDK using the MSI. So we're good here. Now let's jump back into, we can continue reading through this, but what we need to do now is actually get the latest um, Windows version of the data loader. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And as that finishes downloading, there are a few things that we want to kind of be ready for. So if you don't have like a zipping tool or something like that, we need to uh, make sure you have that. Um, but other than that, I think we're pretty good. So this downloaded into a folder that I have here. And what I'm going to do is extract all. So I can, I can hit this compress tool over here or I can right click and extract all. It brings up a little prompt telling us, hey, you know, we're going to extract this right here. That is fine. And it opens up a new folder. If this folder didn't open up, it's just in the same location where you are with the same exact name, except it is a file folder and not a zip file. Next, you want to go through the install prompt. So this install is a BAT file, which Windows does not like very much, but you can hit that see more and run anyways. This is a Salesforce. This is created from Salesforce. So uh, we're pretty safe in going ahead and installing it from there. But if you get the day loader from anywhere else, definitely be a bit wary of where you're getting it from. So now we need to name our folder for the data loader. We could have named it anything and the default is called data loader. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in data loader for it. Now it says, do you want to create a start menu shortcut? Yes, because I'm definitely going to lose the data loader and I need to have a start menu shortcut for it. And then similar thing, a desktop icon. Do I want to create one for it? So don't be afraid of seeing the terminal or anything like that. Super easy to get this done. All we need to do is yes, yes through any of this stuff. And then I pressed any key to exit. So now 
this is pretty much done in this so you know with this zip file and this data loader what we can do since we added a start menu option for it is type in data loader and this is actually my old one which i didn't know if it was still on my file system so i might need to delete that but we are now seeing the new version data loader 5 6.06 um, and we want to try to use the latest one whenever we can now um, we have the same information coming up saying hey you're running a dot bat file do you want to run it anyways well we just installed it we just ran it anyways so we are good to go there on the first boot up, it might take a little bit but on my other screens I've got these two um that have just popped up so one is the command prompt do not close this this is supposed to be there it's not like a virus or anything this is what's actually running the data loader um, in the background and this if you're familiar with the actual data loader here is the gui or the interface the user interface for the salesforce data loader so now we've got the data loader up and running and we are able to actually go ahead and insert our records and all of that stuff but i won't go through all of that in this video this was just making sure that we are all on the same page in terms of getting the data loader up and running that's going to be it for right now. We've got the data loader installed properly and we are able to use it. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see some maybe tutorials on some data, like using the data loader, some of the settings that exist in here and some of the other, you know, features of the data loader, when to use it, how to use it, that kind of stuff. But other than that, make sure to like and subscribe if these videos are helpful to you. I'm Walters954 and remember, I believe in you.